Hi, what we have here is a simple differential equation where rule number five will be applied in trying to solve such an equation. Now, how do we do this? Um, okay, so first of all, let me just write it as d squared plus 2d plus 1 into y is equal to x sine of x, where I can pull the auxiliary equation as m squared plus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. And solving this, you're going to get repeated roots. And so, for the repeated roots, the complementary function is going to be equal to c1 plus c2x into e to the x, where this is 1x and 1 is basically here, the root. Now, for the particular integral, we apply rule number 5 that specifies um, that should be then 1 over fd. Um, fd here is d square plus 2d plus 1. Uh, x into sine x. Then minus the derivative of the function, which is then 2d plus 2, divided by the function to the square. and operating onto sine x. So, what we have then is, um, if you were to put x outside, you're going to get 1 over negative 1 to the square, because the coefficient of x is 1, so that becomes the negative 1 to the square plus 2d plus 1. Immediately this is going to cancel out. Operating onto sine x minus uh, the 2 can be pulled out, I've got d plus 1 inside, all of that divided by, again, negative 1 to the square plus 2d plus 1, where these two is going to cancel out, and of course all of that to the square operating onto sine x. So, I've got then x divided by 2, 1 over d, into sine x, minus, over here I've got um, d plus 1, 2 to the square is 4, 2 divided by 4 is 2, so I've got then, this is going to be um, 2, so I can pull the 2 outside, so that becomes half outside, and inside I'm left with d square, alright, and all of that into sine of x. So, x over 2 that 1 over d means the integral of sine x, dx minus half, and then this d divided by d square is 1 over d basically, so 1 over d plus 1 over d square into sine x. So from here, we can move further by saying that this is x over 2, Integrating sine x, you should be able to get negative cos of x minus half into 1 over d is the integral of sine x. So the integral of sine x dx, we just said it was minus cos of x. So this becomes then minus cos of x. And now if you, diff if you integrate this twice, you're gonna, first of all, you're going to get minus the I mean, the first integral of sine x is minus cos x. If you integrate si I mean cos x, you should be able to get sine x. So minus sine x. And therefore, simplifying further, let's pull this a little bit up, x minus x over 2 cos of x minus minus becomes plus half cos of x plus half sine of x. So we know that the general solution is made up of the complementary function plus the particular integral. So therefore for this particular equation, I've got y is equal to y is the general solution. The complementary function was c, I mean c1 plus c2 into x into e to the x plus the particular integral, which is minus x over 2 cos of x plus half cos of x plus half sine of x. So that's my final solution for this
type of integral where rule number, rule number five is applicable. Take care.